Brought something back, have you? Let's have a look. Here are the goods. What do you think? Whoa! What have you found? Is it good? I haven't seen anything like this except in dusty old textbooks. Where did you find this stuff? So it's a winner then? Guys, this isn't a winner. It's a major scientific breakthrough. Major enough to get us a visit with the linguist? You've discovered a completely new family of medical herbs and that's all you care about? You people are special, you know that? I gotta get you in touch with Keith right away. Here, let's go. I'm taking you to Keith's house. Keith must be a pretty busy man. We got pushed out of the house the last time we visited. Hold on a second. Keith! Hey, Keith! Keith, you there? Keith! Keith! Great, he's not here. What's all this racket? Sorry about that. It's me. Oh, uh, Dr. Jean. Yeah, just call me Bowman. Is Keith in? Oh, uh, yes, just a moment. Please, come in. Excuse me, sir. Heavens, did you bring the whole town with you, Bowman? Hello, Keith. What happened to the friendly neighborhood linguist I used to know, huh? What do you mean? These people have been trying to talk with you, but they keep getting booted out. Well, I've been busy deciphering these books for the kingdom. They're looking for information on the sorcery globe, but this stuff's mostly useless. That's why I'm having my assistant chase the distractions away for the time being. You think we're just distractions? He didn't mean anything by it, guys. Just tell him what you want. Well, we'd like you to translate an ancient text we found deep in the heart of Cross Cave. From the Cross Cave? Seriously? Yes. Finding it was difficult enough, but it's just too old for us to make any sense of. Hmm. Well, sounds a bit more interesting than this government busy work, at least. Let's have a look at it. This is it. My goodness, we have a potentially monumental discovery. Really? Hmm, this resembles an ancient rabbinic hand I'm familiar with, but the script runs quite a bit differently. Do you think you can decipher it? Well, it's going to take me some time. Do you mind if I borrow this for a while? I'd like to have some time to concentrate on it. Certainly. Go ahead. Thank you very much. This is quite a surprise to find on my desk, I must say. I suppose I ought to thank you too, Bowman. <laughs> you actually thanked me. We're probably gonna see pigs fly before long. Well, I'm glad that worked out. Keith was just about beside himself. Thanks. We really appreciate it. Oh, no need for that. 
Myself? I'm interested in this crazy adventure you guys threw yourself into more than anything. Oh, um... The way you folks carried on about the sorcery globe over dinner, I thought you were married to it. So, you're really gonna travel to L and take a look for yourself, huh? Well, we'd like to, yes. Did you actually think I'd let you walk away after giving me such a tantalizing story? Huh? Every expedition needs an experienced, knowledgeable scientist in the party, doesn't it? Oh. So, I'm suggesting you take old Bowman and his many years of experience along. I assure you, you won't regret it. Really? Well, in that case, we'd love to have you. Ha-ha! <laughs> You're a smart shopper, kid. This isn't exactly a shopping trip. Well, anyway, you're leaving tomorrow morning, aren't you? I better go tell Nene while I have a chance. Good night, Claude. See you tomorrow. So he's going to leave Nene? Just like that? Sorry. I'll be back, I promise. I know you, Bowman. You aren't the sort of person to just leave the house on a lark. Nene. Don't worry. I'll take care of things here for you. Well, I'd say it's about time to set off. You sure about that? You haven't even said goodbye to Nene. Well, what do you want me to do? Go up to her and say in front of all of you guys, Oh, my sweetest of loves, I swear I'll return for you? You young people get all romantic at the drop of a hat, don't you? Well, I'll see you later, Nene. Sure. Have fun out there. Well, I'd say it's time we head for L. We'll need to ask the King of Lacour to send out a ship for us. He's right. And while we're in Lacour, we better make sure we have all the equipment and supplies we need. I'll carve a chunk off the sorcery globe and bring it home for you, Nene. Sure, honey. That would be nice. <laughs> 